Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sell clothes on Shopify without inventory. The first thing you'll need to do is create a Shopify account if you don't have one already. And I'll be leaving a link in the description that you can use to sign up. With Shopify, you'll be able to create an account for completely free. After creating your account, you're going to be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select apps. After selecting apps, from here, you're going to simply tap right where you see app and sales channel. After you have done that, you're going to tap on Shopify app store in the top right hand corner. After selecting Shopify app store, you will be redirected to this page. On this page, if you don't see Printify, as you can see right here, you can search for it by tapping on the search bar right there. But Printify is going to be the app that we'll be using. And Printify is a platform or basically is a print on demand app that will allow you to upload your design. And from there, you will be able to add your design onto whichever clothing or whichever item you want. And then they'll deal with the printing and also the distribution and customer service. So we're going to tap on install in the bottom left hand corner. After you have tapped on install, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, all you'll need to do now, you can either tap on sign, you're going to tap on sign up because more than likely you don't have a Printify account. Once you're signed up, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. Once on this dashboard, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on catalog. After selecting catalog, you can see the different sections that you can choose from. So you can choose to either sell men's clothing, women's clothing, kids clothing, or you can sell accessories like phone cases, or you can sell coffee mugs or so on. Let's say for example, we were to select t-shirts. After selecting t-shirts from here, you can see the different options and normally I would select the best seller, but it all varies depending on your target market. So let's say for example, we were to select best seller. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap on start designing. Once you have tapped on start designing, from here you'll be able to upload your design. To add your design, you'll go over to the top left hand corner and tap on upload. You can also use their AI feature to create an AI image or you can choose to add text. What I would normally do is go onto canva.com and canva.com is another platform that you can use for completely free. Once on Canva, I would normally search for t-shirt design. So I would type in t-shirt right here and you can search for t-shirt logo. After you have done that, you can see numerous logo options that you can quickly edit. So all I would normally do is select one of the free options. Keep in mind that anyone that you see with the crown that says pro, you would have to be a paid subscriber to use that particular option. So all I would do is select one of the free options, for example, this one, then tap on customize this template. And once on this page, I would normally customize it to my liking. So for example, I would change the image by simply going over to the left hand menu option. From here, I could type in man or I could type in coffee, for example, let me do that. So I'm going to type in coffee right here and select coffee cup. After you have done that, you can tap on graphics. And from there, you can see numerous coffee cup options that you can use. And let's say, for example, I were to remove that image and I'm going to be adding this image right here. So I'll simply drag and place the image. Then I'll cut down on the size of the image and you can see it right there. Now, after you have made some changes, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner then tap on download. Once you have downloaded your new t-shirt logo, you're going to go back into Printify and you're going to tap on upload in the top left hand corner, then select my device and you're going to add your design. After you have added your design, as you can see right there, you're going to go over to the right hand menu option and from here, you're going to tap on save product. After selecting save product, you can choose the mock-up images that you would like to use. So for example, I'm going to be using these mock-up images. 
so you can see them right there then you can scroll down you could edit the title and you can also edit the description and you can choose if you would like to add a size table once everything is to your liking you're going to tap on publish in the bottom right hand corner now that we have tapped on publish if it is a case that you would like to further edit your branding for your store you can tap on branding and you can also see right here where you can insert packages you can insert something in the package to make it customizable or stand out you can also choose to add neck labels and so on for finish now all you'll need to do is go onto your store and from there you'll be able to see the item on your shopify store and you can start selling and start making some money hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe